Uh, these are multiple homes that we've seen over the past half hour that have e had either smoke or fire billowing from the top of the rooftop. And it seemed that initially the, the very first calls came from Lawrence. So the first explosions affected about four properties in Lawrence almost simultaneously, at least within just moments of one another. Then the next report came from Andover and North Andover after that. And having Christina Rex sort of flesh this out for us with the idea that people in those communities are getting these automated emergency calls to get out of their homes, to turn off the gas, um, sort of helps us understand how widespread this may be and the uncertainty right now, not knowing if this line line is under pressure or if we're still in a situation where there may be other dwellings and other buildings at risk. You have to imagine that there's been an order to shut down the gas lines at this point, which means there'll be a lot of people without gas for the rest of the evening. But number one, you have to think about the possibility of injuries here. Keep your fingers crossed and pray that people were not injured. Hopefully, I mean, when we talk about multiple explosions, five o'clock in the afternoon, I guess this started probably around 430, yep. that a lot of these homes would have people home, kids home from school, so you can only hope Hope that uh, someone hasn't been hurt in all these explosions. And we're seeing what's happening, obviously, on the roof of this building and the effort to put out this fire. But again, it seemed initially that these were explosions that took place closest to the basement. So what we're not seeing in these pictures is what's happening inside these homes, inside these buildings, the extent of the damage, uh, the effort to try to get people out. Uh, it, it, a second ago, we showed a shot at Sky Eye had it looked like a group of firefighters behind this building at a dwelling near the back parking lot going in a lower level door. Uh, this is a huge response on the part of firefighters throughout that Lawrence area trying to get to these residences in again Lawrence, Andover and North Andover. Just seeing on Twitter that a lieutenant from Andover is saying if you smell gas in your home get out immediately call 911 as you had mentioned Lisa uh, most of these fires beginning in the basement. I guess that's in most likely right, where the closest, gas comes right. into the home. Uh, but you can see the firefighters certainly have their hands full at this one home uh, in Lawrence. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the one home that we've actually seen flames shooting out of the roof. In most of the situations we've we seen smoke. smoke. Yeah, and, and very, very initially very thick white smoke. Um, not long after the time of the initial explosion. Uh, so this has got to be a challenge for first responders now, not just getting to this one scene, which we can see is fully involved, this fire, but also to multiple addresses all over a fairly widespread area. Uh, Christina, or I think it was Liam actually, who mentioned some of the teams in the area. Uh, this is not too far from Lawrence High School. And I was going to say, oftentimes in the afternoon at a high school, there are, are after-school sure. activities going on. So uh, we will be putting in some phone calls to Lawrence High School as well to figure out what's happening over there. As you mentioned, Springfield and Chickering and Colonial as well are all very close to the high school there in Lawrence. And most of this is happening, at least in Lawrence, not far from Route 495. Uh, this is the first time at the top of the screen there where we can actually see the firefighters up on their fire engine uh, hitting this house uh, with water and a lot of people gathered there in the streets trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Yeah, some of the neighbors there too. And again, you know, a sky eye travels from each to each of these scenes. Uh, what we're not seeing is the extent of the damage. We've talked about as many as six properties, but there may be, and it sounds as if there are likely to be many, many more throughout that area in Lawrence, North Andover, and Andover. Uh, this obviously right now, the live picture from Sky Eye is perhaps the most dramatic, but I would ask if maybe we can sort of scroll through some of the other homes that we have seen as well, just to give you a sense of the scope of this problem, that it's not, if you're just tuning in, just this one home, uh, that there are multiple homes that we have seen. Uh, this home right here, uh, you can see the smoke pouring out of the side. You can see a fire official out in the street. Uh, we've seen other homes with doors blown off the side of the home. Uh, if you're just tuning in moments ago, we're talking about uh, more than a dozen, I would say, homes at this point in Lawrence, in North Andover, and in Andover where there have been reports of gas explosions.